Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, I make a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and live content. If that interests you, please be sure to check out my other videos, like this video and subscribe. This week's comment of the week goes to Savannah and the comment reads, can you talk more about the Clean Ben cream? I just started it. So that is the basis of this video. I'll be talking about clinomycin and benzoyl peroxide, why I was prescribed it, why I take it, and more just about the different components separated. Again, I want to preface this video by saying I'm not a professional, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a chemist, I'm nothing like in the skincare world professionally. I am just a skincare enthusiast and I like to do these videos to kind of explain like why I was prescribed certain things, how my skin is doing, and try to like help put it into terms that are more digestible. There are a lot of great YouTubers who are professionals and I will put some links to some articles if you want to learn some more. Clonomycin is an antibiotic that is prescribed to treat bacterial infections. In this case of skincare, it is a topical treatment for mild to moderate acne. It takes about four to six weeks to see improvement in the skin after starting clinomycin. Clinomycin is also typically used with another treatment. Moving into benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is an antiseptic and in this case it is used to reduce bacteria on the skin. Different from clinomycin, you can purchase benzoyl peroxide over the counter. Keep in mind benzoyl peroxide peroxide has peroxide so it can bleach your hair, clothes, and pillowcases. So be mindful when you're using it. Benzoyl peroxide is commonly combined with other drugs, which is what I have here. With benzoyl peroxide, it takes about a month to see improvement, but to see the full extent of those results, it will take about two to three months. When I was first prescribed tretinoin, I was also prescribed a benzoyl peroxide face wash and a clindamycin cream. I ended up moving and switching dermatologists, and that dermatologist preferred their clients to use clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide combined into a gel. The same gel that that dermatologist prescribed me is the same gel that I have now, and it is 1% clindamycin and 5% benzoyl peroxide. Together, they work to stop the growth of acne caused by bacteria. I've also noticed that my skin doesn't get as oily when I apply this treatment. I do have oily skin, but it doesn't get nearly as oily as it typically does. Honestly, I do prefer the combined treatment as opposed to using the benzoyl peroxide face wash and the clindamycin cream in the same morning routine, but just separately. I prefer it together just because I feel like it makes my routine more seamless and I also prefer to use gentle cleansers. I felt like the face wash seemed to be a little bit more irritable to my skin versus the combined gel form. And it's also easier to like travel with and you know, you don't have to worry about your face wash accidentally getting like flipped open and bleaching your stuff. So that's nice. When it comes to how my skin has reacted to this, every time that I start taking it, my skin does feel a little bit dry and scaly. I recently started taking this again about two weeks ago and my skin was pretty scaly. I applied makeup over it and I could tell like my skin didn't have that smooth surface that I've had for a while now. I don't get as many breakouts right now. Smoother, but I still have pigmentation. I apply a thin layer of this gel on my face in the morning and spread it across my face. I made sure to wash my hands before and after applying the cream and be very, very thorough with washing your hands because as I mentioned, it can bleach your clothes, hair, and other fabrics. After I apply this cream, I follow up with a sunscreen and I use a sunscreen of at least SPF 30. You absolutely have to wear sunscreen while using this treatment, especially if you use it in the morning like I do. It increases your photosensitivity or how sensitive you are to the sun. I've been told that you will see improvement in the skin about a month after using it, but similar to other treatments, it'll take about two to three months to see the full extent of those results. I started this back into my routine about two weeks ago and I did notice that my skin felt drier and scalier and there was like a little bit of flakiness. So I started using it every other day. Just be mindful about how I'm trying to build it back into my daily skincare routine. My side effects from using this have not been extreme. They've been pretty mild and common. If you are experiencing harsher side effects, please reach out to a dermatologist or an, another doctor just to figure out 
if this is something that you should continue taking or if you should scale back. I did a video last week on whether or not I was going to take spironolactone and spironolactone will help with hormonal acne and this is going to help with bacterial acne. Personally, I've had a great experience with having this combined gel in my skincare routine and I noticed that along with using tretinoin at night that my skin had very great results with not only reducing my acne but also reducing those post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and hyperpigmentation on my skin in general. So I do enjoy having it as a part of my skincare routine, but that is something to definitely discuss with your dermatologist if you want to get on it or if you're having any issues while on it. I hope this video answered any questions. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you used clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide in a combined form? How did you like it? What were your results? As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you again.